I have a little bit of dark circles. I don't have very big eyes, right? And I don't have the most perfect skin. Still, I love to do a smoky eye. I'll tell you why in this video. You see the difference that Kajal makes in the smoky eye. I mean, this is why this is such a magical look. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ragini and I do makeup and fashion content here on my channel. Wishing you all a very happy Diwali. May your Diwali be beautiful, full of lights and festivities and happiness. So this Diwali, make sure you spread light in everybody's life around you. And by the way, coming to makeup now. Today I have done this makeup for Diwali which is a black smoky eye with some golden glitter and I think it truly represents Diwali. So the black on the eyes represents the Amavasya Rath of Diwali and that golden glitter represents the beautiful diyas and the lights of Diwali. So makeup is a lot more than colors. I think it can truly represent a story. And it's been a long time I've done something like this on my channel. So I'm very excited. And yes, this makeup look is so versatile hai that you can also do it for the upcoming weddings. Now, you can see some different in the future. And now talking about smoky eyes, a lot of people think that if you have small eyes, then smoky eyes can't happen. If dark circles, then it can't happen. If you uneven skin, then it can't happen. If you dusky skin tone, then you can't do smoky eyes. I have it all and I've done it and I love it. So there are ways in which you can achieve a smoky eye which flatters your features. So there are going to be a lot of pro tips in this video. You definitely want to watch it. Let's get started. All right, guys. So I want to start with the moisturizer. I have already applied a moisturizer on my face, but I still feel dry around some areas. And this season, of course, it's totally different from the monsoons, right? So I will need a little bit of more moisturizer, the dry ceramide one. Moisturizer is the first step, and yes, सबसे ज़्यादा important step है. Don't miss this. Make sure you apply your moisturizer after obviously washing your face. Next, I will use a primer. So I'm using the Smashbox Primerizer. So yeah, I'm just gonna concentrate it towards the area where I get dry. This is a primer which is going to maintain the hydration. This is not to hide your pores. So now with the primer, you can see it's looking very plump and glowy. And uh, this is the kind of base you wanna go. If you use a mattifying foundation, use kare, definitely do this. Uh, apply a good moisturizer. If you have oily skin, use a water-based moisturizer. I think people with oily skin also feel a uh, little dry during winters what is it tell me in the comments anyone who has oily skin so the next product is by pack strobing cream in gold now this is one of my favorite products i do really like it and you look you see it looks white but as i i'll show you so as i sort of mix it but as i apply it and blend it it starts to become golden okay so as i blend i'm like blending 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 you see the golden shimmers start to come. So this is going to give you radiance. And you can use this oily skin too. If you are sweating a lot, don't use it too much. So this is basically your highlighter. But a very softer one. So these highlighters look very natural. Lagte so as you can see, I am concentrating it here. I am um, basically concentrating on my whole face. But mainly here, forehead, okay, and the chin. A little bit on the neck and the decolletage area also. So look how the skin is glistening, right? And that is what exactly we want. It's time for the eyes. Yes, it's not time for foundation. So because I'm going to use a darker color, so we're not going to do the foundation, but the eyes. So come close. So firstly, the eyebrows, I'm using the Faces Canada Ultim Pro Eyebrow Defining Pencil. And I'm just going to fill in the gaps. Now this eyebrow pencil is a little waxy. It's not like a very dry powder pencil. Now some people might not like it. So I do want to mention that. What I like about it is the color, the brown color. And also wax help the hair to sort of set in. So I do like it and it's very quick. All right, so the eyebrows are done and time for the eyes. So eyelids go in set with a concealer. And I'm going to blend that with a brush. And once that is done, I'm going to set it with a powder. So I'm using this Forever 52 one. Because if you want your shadows to blend well, again, I'm using the Huda Beauty palette. But guys, very versatile this palette. So I'm going to use this color, um, which is called Sandalwood. Okay. So I'm going to take it on a bigger brush. This brush right here. Time to build up the transition. I 
my hair is little wet it might look oily to you guys right now but it's actually wet so let's hope by the time i finish this tutorial they are dry now i'm gonna take this color which is called henna on a smaller brush and put it slightly below the transition okay so once this is done you're happy with the color payoff don't you really like these sort of colors i personally think these sort of warm browns look very good on indian complexions so next i'm gonna take a kajal i'm taking this kajal by k beauty you must have seen me using this so basically you're gonna apply it on your lash line okay doesn't have to be even isko even hone ki zarurat nahi hai humne isko smudge karna hai okay uh, i'm gonna take it thoda sa upar bahut zyada nahi because we can always add more so make sure you take very little and i'm using a smudging brush this is the pack 208 and i'm going to smudge it so now if i feel i need to apply more i will add more okay so it's always a good idea to apply little by little अगर हमने पहले ही बहुत ज़्यादा लगा दिया तो उसको फिर इरेज करना मुश्किल हो जाएगा सो मेक श्योर यू डू दिस स्टेप बाय स्टेप एंड हाँ आप अपनी फिंगर्स भी यूज कर सकते हैं एक्चुअली इट वर्क्स प्री वेल ओके रिपीट द सेम ऑन द अदर आई So what we have done here is we have created a base. So अगर आप कोई ऐसा काजल यूज़ करते हो जो एकदम से सेट हो रहा था लाइक आई हैव द प्लम काजल विथ सेट्स वेरी क्विक सो दिस वेरी लिटिल प्ले टाइम दैट मीन्स वो सेट हो जाता है और मैं उसे स्मच कर नहीं पाती उसके बाद क्योंकि वो सेट हो जाता है सो मेक श्योर यू यूज़ अ काजल जो एक्चुअली थोड़ा सा स्मच हो जाए प्रॉब्ली इवन अ काजल विच यू डोंट लाइक यू कैन यूज हियर इट्स टाइम टू टेक द डार्केस्ट कलर विच इज दिस इट्स कॉल्ड ब्लैक ट्रफल So it's time to take the darkest color, which is this. It's called black truffle. So I'm going to use a flat brush. This is by Wet n Wild. Okay, so we're going to apply this on the base that we have created. बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं इसके साथ भी same. पहले apply a little, and then we can of course build it up. Usually आपने देखा होगा shimmers में I uh, use my finger, but when it comes to the matte colors, you can use your finger. But I think the brushes work fine. If you don't have a brush, go with your finger. It's okay. See, I've applied very little, but look how intense that looks. Okay, it can look intense. It can look scary, but smoky eye. Me, because I'm going to give you a lot of tips here now. How to make sure that your smoky eye looks very good. So you got to stick with me uh, through the tutorial. Now take cocoa. Uh, basically, any brown color you can use. But yeah, if it's warm tone, it will look very good. Okay, and then put it in your crease and blend. अब आपने ब्लैक को ब्राउन के साथ ब्लेंड करना है स्मोक आई में जितनी ब्लेंडिंग आप करेंगे उतनी अच्छी लगेगी सो मेक श्योर यू रियली टेक योर टाइम टू ब्लेंड इट विल टेक टाइम अगर आपको लगता है आपकी ब्लेंडिंग हो गई है नो यू नो जस्ट मेक श्योर यू ब्लेंड मोर एंड देन मोर आई थिंक दीज शेडोज इज सो गुड आई डोंट रियली सी मच फॉल आउट ऑन माई स्किन लाइक दिस प्री मच नो फॉल आउट राइट बट आई स्टिल इंसिस्ट दैट यू डू योर स्मोक आई फर्स्ट बिकॉज कभी मिस्टेक्स होती हैं और समथिंग तो यू कैन यू नो योर बेस इज नॉट रोइंड ओके सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू अप्लाई अ गोल्डन हाईलाइट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ वेरी प्रिसाइज ब्रश लाइक लुक एट दिस दिस इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल ओके एंड और दिस हम जस्ट को ना अप्लाई लिटल बट ऑफ फिक्स प्लस यू कैन अप्लाई वाटर ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट दैट कि फिक्स प्लस ही लगाना है सो आई एम जस्ट गोना स्प्रेस सो आई एम टेकिंग दिस कलर विच इज कॉल्ड 24k on the wet brush and i'm going to highlight my inner corner with it okay so we have sort of given a festive touch to our smoky eye and i've actually cleaned the same brush and i'm going to take this color which is called moon dust and apply it as a brow highlight now it's time for the eyeliner An eyeliner gives a lot more definition to the smoky eye. And on top of this, I'm just going to apply this kajal again to make it softer. And then smudge it, of course. 
and apply just a little bit of shadow. The pro tip for kajal, make sure you apply your eyeliner and kajal after your smoky eye. It will give a lot of definition to it. Now see, look at the difference it makes. Now I'll apply some mascara to my lashes. This really opens up the eye and mascara. Now this is one pro tip. Your mascara will take your smoky eye to another level. Alright guys, so I put some lashes on and you can see it really lifts your eyes. So as I like to say, the lashes are on and so is the drama. Adding mascara and lashes really lifts your lashes and makes your eyes look bigger, especially when you have done a smoky eye. Now you'll see this makeup come together. Now you don't need this if you don't have crazy dark circles. I do have a little bit of darkness here and somewhere on the spots and around the mouth. So I'm using this LA Girl color corrector in the orange color okay because this is what works for me and I'm using very little and of course I'm gonna blend it with a brush so once this is done it's time for the foundation and I'm using the Miss Claire everyday foundation oh my god I didn't expect do like this foundation so much this is very creamy and dewy from my dry skin story you probably might have guessed that i'm going to use a foundation like that this is for normal skin however it's very very creamy and look at the beautiful undertone it has especially for indian looks i love this i'm so surprised by this foundation this is very very affordable 300 something i'm going to put the price here if you want more knowledge about your foundation shade and undertone i have a video which i'll link here now the concealer this is probably my favorite concealer the smashbox studio skin flawless concealer and you'll notice this also has a yellow undertone okay so no more panda eyes with a concealer like this okay and wherever i feel i need coverage a little bit of highlighting also so once our base is set, I'm going to use this powder by Forever 52. So just setting my under eyes with this powder. And what I feel about this powder is like a proper foundation it is. So these days a lot of people are just using powders because we have to wear masks. And you get a puff also. So it's almost like you're compact and it's very travel friendly. I do like the packaging, sorry. See, this happens when you're doing makeup. Now it's time for the skin. So I'm going to use this K-Beauty Contour, another product that I'm going to try. What I don't like already is that I have to sharpen this every time. Now with this, uh, I mean, I do understand for some products, the formula is such. However, this could have been just a twist up this thing, right? I'm, when I say that, I'm talking about kajals. If you notice, all kajals that are smudge proof come in a pencil formulation, okay? So yeah, but this, I mean, such a chunky pencil I have to sharp but this is so popular I've seen so many people talk about this and love this so I am definitely gonna try this right I don't like to contour my nose maybe a little bit here I do like it, it's very natural, but I still set it with a powder uh, because with a smoky eye, I think the more structured your face is, it's a lot better. So I'm using my sugar contour powder in Woody Winder. So I'm using my Nykaa Cosmetics Blush, this one, and I'm going to use uh, this warm orange color. I do really like it. By the way, we're still left with the eyes. So now I'm going to take this highlighter. This is the Makeup Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter in Golden Kiss. So the color is beautiful. Also on the collarbone. So that it glistens. Okay, now back to the eyes. So I'm going to take the same highlighter and put it as a highlighter. Just a touch of that light at the center. So it brings a nice gradient from the dark to the light here underneath the brow bone we are already applied a highlighter but i think this really brings it forward okay now time for something which is the most important step here sharpen your kajal pencil so that it's fresh so take your kajal and apply it on the waterline so i'm using the amway attitude kajal 
and then you want to load it up slightly so that you have some product in the lashes okay you see the difference that kajal makes in the smoky eye i mean this is why this is such a magical look now we're going to intensify this magic so take a smudging brush and you have some color here in between the lashes so take it down you see jo kajal humne upar use kiya tha wo hum niche leke aa rahe hain all this while you want to look up that is going to make it easier now this is how you make sure that your eyes don't look small when you do a smoky eye now time to clean the brush time to take a little bit of the brown in the one third of the eye i'm not taking it all the way because i like the black but this is just for blending okay and then of course we are going to take the black uh this will help us to set it i think we are almost done with the look so i'll change and i'll be right back Okay guys, so I'm ready. I put my hair in a ponytail. I did a center parting. So this is the jewelry piece I'm wearing. It's uh, temple jewelry, and it's beautiful. I I really like this piece. I think it's so traditional. And finally, it's time for the lips. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna take this nude color by Faces. It's called T Rose. It's a beautiful nude for a complexion like mine. I'm gonna apply it straight. I had applied lip balm previously, and I'm gonna take this lip liner by Miss Claire. I'm just going to define the edges. This is very dark so I don't want this to change the color of my lips, okay? Just defining the edges. All right guys, this is the makeup done. I also put a bindi and I think it truly completes the look, right? And I've my this jewelry, this is a temple jewelry and I think it's so traditional yet so modern at the same time i mean the choker look makes it very modern and the jhumkas give it a traditional vibe so i'm in love with this jewelry at the moment and i put my hair back so that you know your smoky eye can really stand out and make face can look more structured so i really hope you found this video helpful i hope you found the tips useful aap mein tips ko use kar rahe hain maybe you can start with a little bit and gradually practice more so this video mein maine bahut sare pro tips share kiye hain make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this red button down below you just have to click on that red button nahi to aapko is channel ke future video updates nahi milenge so make sure you hit that red button right now so uske next there's a bell icon just click on it if you want notifications also aapko notifications milengi is channel ke bare mein how easy is that and that is of course free and for my latest updates and even more free makeup tips follow me on my instagram and facebook account the link is in the description box i would love to have you as a follower there as well wishing you all a very happy diwali from the bottom of my heart enjoy take care and be safe and i will see you next time bye bye